refrigerator. Yeah. So is that going up to the upper storey? Yeah, mean, the, they would have gone right up to the roof. The bedrooms? or? Well, they did, did actually sleep on the roof, yeah. um, as they do today in parts of yeah, modern those Egypt. Those stairs are 4,000 years old, aren't they? It's there? incredible, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> but still the, functioning. The sleeping arrangements would have been rather ad hoc yeah. because some people would have slept on the benches or on mats on the floor, and then in summer certainly they would have slept on the roof. Looking down from a balloon, it seems not that much has changed. People today still sleep on the rooftops under the stars, just as they did in ancient Egypt. Oh, there's, there's Senegem. Joanne is a great enthusiast for the Egyptian way of life, past and present. In fact, she's been adopted by an Egyptian family, the Shebas, and she's taken me round to their new home. I'm wondering if it'll give me any idea of how Senegem lived. Uh, uh -huh, no. So, this is the best room that nobody uses, it. Yeah, this is the front parlour just for visitors, uh, special guests. <laughs> This is Belka. Hey, hey everyone. <laughs> this is a family. Wonderful family. And I mean, these the furniture is basically the kind of furniture not very different from the furniture they've had. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, a totally comparable. I mean, these kind of low benches, either in wood or yeah. in mud brick, and then kind of uh, padded out with oh, cushions. Yeah. I mean, the Egyptians have always liked sort of comfort, and these plump cushions yes, have been comfort. found in in pharaonic tombs. And so you might sleep up here, huh? You could sleep up there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it's beautiful. Oh, the, the wind is blowing in my face. <laughs> There's a central column. Yeah.